What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I am back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty. And today, you're 6-1, number 15 in the country. UAB Blazers are on the road, taking on 4-4 four four Middle Tennessee State. If you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. We're going to take a look at some recruiting because, man, we're getting ever so closer to the end of the season. People are ready to sign up. To play some UAB football. You see, we got a lot of recruits up there that are, you know, getting real close to wanting to sign with us. Uh, you got we got a 79 overall wide receiver. We got a really good defensive tackle in Andy Payne. And we're looking at it getting an 80 overall quarterback as freshman, too. So that's obviously what you know what we've been wanting since you know the dynasty first started. So this shows, you know, if you've been watching this since the very first episode of the UAB Blazers Dynasty, you would know that this team has made major improvements since day one I mean I've taken this team from a 68 overall to an 83 overall and in, in the we're in the third season so we've obviously made a lot of progress <laughs> so we just got to keep on improving and everything will be all great hopefully one of these days we could be up there in the top 10 or at least sustain ourselves in the top 10 because I know probably at the end of the year they're gonna kick us out of the top 25 and be like hey your party's over just go be a crappy team again well not necessarily. I mean, we have a lot of returning players next year. Chris Jones is going to be back for next season, and we got a lot of young receivers on this team that are going to be back. Uh, Keith Brown and Devin Lemon are going to be gone, but Aaron Hicks, our third string, he's pretty viable at running back. I mean, we're not going to completely just go with a new whole running back system. Our offensive line are pretty young as well. We got a couple of seniors on there, but most of them are going to be returning next year. Our defense is a little experienced. I mean, we got. You know, some players on there that are going to be going. Um, but nonetheless, this team is improving. And that's something that, you know, I take a lot of pride in. So uh, we're going to take a look at the top 25. As you see right here, Ohio State and Georgia Tech take the top two. Utah, UCLA, Connecticut are in the top five. Rounding out there are Texas A&M, Texas, Virginia Tech, Florida State, and Alabama. You got other notables in there like Miami who dropped way down in the polls. UAB is number 15. Iowa 16 after they lost to Northwestern. That's kind of a big drop. Uh, Tennessee's in there. Mississippi State. And you got Kansas State in there as well in the top 25. Take a look at conference standings as well because, you know, we got to play in that conference championship game. That would be pretty sweet. You see we're still undefeated in the conference, but Florida Atlantic is right there, right with us, uh, trying to take that away from us. But we're not going to let that happen, are we? We're UAB. We are the UAB Blazers. We're going to do whatever it takes to win, to make ourselves a winning program. We're going to take on Middle Tennessee State today. It should be a good one, and I'll see you there. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Blazers have dominated this conference all season long, and now they want to be like that great ninth inning closer. Come out and just blow you away and finish the game and leave no doubt about who's the best. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Here at what is it called? Johnny Red Floyd Stadium. Here in the, the exact center of Tennessee at Middle Tennessee State, we are taking on the Blue Raiders. It's literally called Middle Tennessee State because it's literally in the direct center, in the middle of Tennessee. So we are underway here as Keith Brown is going to take this one a couple yards deep in the end zone. He's going to take this out to the 15, and he's probably not going to get much farther than that as he got, got pushed back a little bit, so he got, probably got marked down at the 14. But here comes Chris Jones, our junior quarterback, who has been playing lights out ever since he's been named the starting quarterback of this team in his sophomore year. Last year, when he was announced to be the starting quarterback, he has been showing us why he is exactly that. He throws a deep pass to Doug Nash down the field on the very first play. Pick up a 62, and later on his third down and eight. Let's see what we can do to finish off the drive. 
Looking for that underneath throw. Jones is scrambling, gets it underneath to Devin Lemon, and he makes the freshest lemonade on the block. Touchdown, Blazers. 23 yards out. It's now 7-0, uh, Blazers, as we went 4-4 four for four on that drive. We went perfect in the passing department, and that's why we have an early lead. We, we just came out guns a-blazing, you know. Third down and 15 here for Middle Tennessee State. Brown dropping back. Looking, he gets the completion to Whitaker. Whitaker gets the first down. Pick up 23 on the play. So they're doing this no huddle stuff. Something that I really struggle with. It, I get punched in the mouth too from it. it. It happens to everybody in this game. A lot of you know, a lot of you know NCAA players that I talk to or I've seen, you know, they struggle with this, and it's there's a good reason why. I mean, it's kind of just throws you off your game. You're not really prepared for what's coming. So Brown dropping back again, looking over the middle to Montgomery. Jumps over a couple defenders. He's going to take this one down into the house. Touchdown, Middle Tennessee State, and it's now tied at seven. Look at that. Middle Tennessee is going to punch us right back in the mouth. You know, it's a boxing match right now. Third down to 13. Here's Chris Jones in the shotgun, dropping back. Looking over the middle. It's caught by Donald Hills. He's going deep downfield. Past midfield down to the 40-yard line. Pick up a 48. My Lord. He's already got like 135 yards passing on just six attempts. He's throwing just darts out here. Third down and three here for uh, UAB. Off to Keith Brown, but not enough for the first. But we're not in field goal range, but we're not in punting range either. So we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it out here on fourth and five. We're going to take a risk early on in the game. Play action. Jones scrambling to his right. Looking for some room, and he's going to throw it to McTaggart. Down for a big pickup right there. 14 yards and a first down for the Blazers. We're moving the chains once again and doing our work. Second down and 10. Quick screen pass over to Rob Pace. And look at that. He's down inside the five-yard line. He could have taken that all the way, but he didn't. I don't know why. Uh, he, that's that dang shoelace tackle, you know what I mean? But, hey, we finished off the drive with a touchdown. It's now 14-7. We're all good. It's all good, right? We've got our first rushing touchdown of the game. Chris Jones is a master of disguise when it comes to disguising that play action. So, or, you know, read option, whatever you want to call it. He's good at that. He's good at disguising the play action and disguising the ball. But anyway, we get the ball back, 14-7 lead, looking over the middle of Donald Hills. He gets absolutely clobbered, but he does hang on to it for a first down. So it's all good there. So we're, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. So Chris Jones... This time, he's going to try and hand off the football to none other than our running back, Keith Brown. He's going to take it right side, and he's going to get some big yardage right here. Takes a, guy, a little juke move. He gets a little bit extra yardage on top of that one. Picks up that first down. Pick up a 13, and the chains are moving. Second down and one. Pull up another read option, and this time we get another first down. May not be much, but it's enough to move the chains. Only a pick up a four, but it's all right. It's all right. We good. We're all right. You know? You can't, you can't take it all on one play. It's not going to happen. So, anyway, we get another screen pass off. Here's Keith Brown. Touchdown, Blazers. Now 21-7 to as we have just been throwing the ball like mad here in the first half. As, you know, Chris Jones has been out of his mind right now. But on the ensuing kickoff. And I literally have no words for this right now. We just, I, I don't know. I felt like I got cheesed. <laughs> That's the best way I could put it. I felt like I got cheated or cheesed or whatever you want to call it because we had him on like four different times, four separate occasions, and he just did not want to go down. So it's 21-14 on what I thought was complete BS, but that's just me. So, again, looking deep downfield, and this one is going to be intercepted by Parrish. As that's our first turnover of the game, we cannot have these kind of turnovers, especially in a close game like this, on the road. That's a big no-no. We, we can't do that. No, no. Third down and eight here for Middle Tennessee State. Brown dropping back, looking underneath the Daniels. Oh, my God. Just gets boom-sticked. But they're going to settle for the field goal right here. I think this one is within their range. So, they think they can. Yeah, they're going to kick the field goal. Kick is up, and it is good. So, 21-17 to 17 here. And we're just halfway through the second quarter. So, this is a high-scoring affair. Something that we've come used to here in this dynasty. So Jones dropping back, looking deep on the left side, and this one's intercepted again by Parrish. That's his second interception in as many times. So what are we doing? This guy's just reading our offense like it's a book. I don't know, man. He's, he's kind of irritating me right now. We got to do something about it. So Brown gets another one off, gets the first down, and the you know Middle Tennessee State 
They're a team that can sneak up on you. They're pretty good. You know? I can't just sit there and say, that, oh, they're getting lucky. They're a good team. They've been doing everything right on defense in the last couple possessions. And we haven't been executing it at all. So give all the credit in the world to Middle Tennessee State. We're, we're not doing our job right. So we get the ball back. Here's Chris Jones looking deep downfield. And he gets it off to Donald Hills. Push. Oh, my God. He's gone. Touchdown. UAB. 80-yard touchdown. It's now 28-17. to 17. What is going on? What's up with these big chunks of yardage being gained at a time? It's just crazy. So, again, that's a nice pass off to Whitaker. First down for uh, Middle Tennessee State. But how are they going to finish off the drive? They still got a minute and some change left. So, they got all the time on the side. So, Brown, again, taking the sack. But we're going to call a timeout here to see if we can get a quick score before halftime. And uh, try and extend this lead to 35-17. But we have an opportunity here on third down and 10. Jones dropping back. Looks deep downfield to McTagg or to Jones. And that is not going to be caught at all. So we're going to have to punt the football. Look at Chris Jones. 310 yards passing in the first half. But this is probably the biggest. I don't know what's a bigger no-no. Giving up this kind of run <clears throat> or that kickoff return for a touchdown that we gave up earlier. So now it's going to be 28-24. to as they get another big play on the ground, an 80-yard touchdown run by Austin Daniels. And it's now 28-24 to going into halftime. And they get the ball to start the second half, so they have the chance here to take the lead. This is this is making my brain hurt a little bit. And it doesn't even look like the receiver looked for the ball in that one. As David Brown is probably looking at his receiver and like, bro, you got to catch that. I don't know why he didn't catch that ball, but he didn't. So here we go, third down and nine here for the Blazers. Looking for that screen pass once again. And we have some room to run as Keith Brown's off to the races. And he takes it down for a 42-yard pickup inside the 15-yard line. So third down and five. Chris Jones looking again over the middle to McTaggart, but he drops it. And so we're going to take the risk again. And this is probably a big no-no here. I mean, I understand that at the 37-yard line we when we did that, but this is fourth and five. I... I immediately regretted this decision as soon as I, uh, you know, snapped the ball because I was like, man, I I'm going to mess this up somehow. I know it was a risk, and I regret taking it now. <laughs> but now, here we go. Austin Daniels just gets enough for the first down for Middle Tennessee State, and the they keep on moving the ball with some efficiency. And this is driving me nuts, let's be honest. Very next play, Daniels with the ball again, and he's taking it for another first down. They're just running the ball all over us, and it's... It's annoying. It really is. Austin Daniels is getting like 16 yards of carry on us. That's that's really high. We got to take care of that. So Brown dropping back. Looking left side. Snyder drops the pass. That's three straight incomplete passes from him. And they're going to punt the football once again. So it's still a close game here for Middle Tennessee State and UAB. It should not be this close. But we've been messing up. And that's why it's as close as it is. When you can't hang on to the ball and you can't take, you know, if you, you keep turning the ball over, stuff like this is going to happen. So we got to take care of the ball and, you know, hopefully the ball will be in a favorable spot for us. So you see right here, we have Keegan Samuel in now as, you know, Chris Jones got a bit of a concussion. He's going to sit out for the rest of the game. So he'll be all right. He'll be back for next week. No worries. But Keegan Samuel... He's not a bad quarterback either. He's a pretty good one as well. He's a good viable backup. He can run. He can uh, he can throw. But look at the legs. Look at the speed he's got to burn a defender. Touchdown, Blazers. Keegan Samuel from 16 yards out. It's now 35-24. We extend our lead back up to double digits. Whew. Now we can take a breather for just a second here. For just a second. So now we can, you know, I wouldn't say relax, but we don't have to. I wouldn't say play as hard either, but we can feel better about ourselves. So there, that's a nice interception right there by uh, Jared Lewis. And uh, now we get the ball back. Now we can extend our lead again late in the fourth quarter and put this one out of reach for good. So Keegan Samuel taking this one himself. Gets a nice nine-yard pickup. Backup quarterback doing work. More so on the ground with than with his arm, but that's okay. You know, he can, he's a dual threat as well. So Samuel again looking. Oh, God. I don't even know how that happened. He, he just got his tiptoes in. I, I guess that's the best way you could put it. Let's let's just put it that way. We'll play some defense. Hopefully, we can get another stop. And we do. Look at Bronco up and get it. 
He's gonna take. A, he's gonna break a couple of tackles. He's gonna get away from this guy. He's gonna away from that guy. He's gonna get a touchdown, a pick six, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to put this game in the bag. Chris Jones, 17 of 28, nearly 400 yards passing, had a spectacular game, and UAB moves up to seven and one on the season with a 42 to 24 victory over Middle Tennessee State. Next week, we have another good matchup on our hands as we take on Marshall. And it's going to be a good one, guys, so you guys do not want to miss it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Like I said, if you guys are new to this channel at all, hit that like button. It's very appreciative that you guys uh, come out to these kind of videos and always show your support. You know, it's, it, it doesn't go without saying that you guys are some of the best supporters on YouTube, you know. So keep up your, awesome, your awesomeness, I should say. And... Uh, you know we're gonna put, we're gonna we got other series that you guys should check out as well. We got the Baltimore Orioles franchise that is now currently running. We have the Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks NCAA basketball dynasty. We have the Madden franchise as well. We still have uh, the Portland Trailblazers thing going on. Even though I don't want to upload that one as often uh, because you guys want to see all the other good stuff like this one. You know I, I want to give you guys what you want and you guys deserve it. But anyway, I'm done rambling. This game was amazing. You guys are amazing. Show that support. Drop that like. Thank you for watching. And until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance, and I'm out. Peace.